everyone. And here's our devotional for this Good Friday. And I really like what Chris said because, you know, Good Friday really is good. You know, I used to think, what's good about it? But Chris had a really good point that Good Friday is good because of what Jesus did for us and what it means to the Christian. All right, so on this Good Friday, um, April 10th, 2020, um, this, um, I'll just give you a hint. This one has to do, this, this, the one who did this devotional is the same one who's going to do the next week's devotions. <laughs> so, um, Matthew West, for those of you who like his music, well, he's not only a gifted songwriter and singer and whatever, he is a very gifted writer, and um, he's written devotionals. I don't know if he actually has a devotional book. He's got a few books that he's written, but um, he sends an email once a week. And I get it. Um, I'm sure you can just like Google it or whatever, or look uh, look him up, Matthew West, and um, it's called each one. It's called Day One, and then it has the title of what it is. So this week on Good Friday, we're going to read this one, and it's called Day One. Of course, it's called Day Day One. Day Three equals Day One. Like wow, isn't that awesome? Okay, hold on just a second. Let's go. Here we go. Yeah, day three equals day one. And this is um, April 10th, 2020. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? John 11, 25 and 26. On day one, hearts were broken. Disciples were scattered. Scattered. An innocent man was beaten beyond recognition and forced to carry his own cross to his own death. On day one, evil was winning. They hurled insults at him and mocked him with a crown of thorns. On day one, he was hung on a cross between two thieves to die a slow and painful death. Day one seemed like the end as Jesus uttered, It is finished! But this was not the end of the story. This was only day one. On day three, mourning turned to rejoicing. Death was conquered. The stone was rolled away. Scripture was fulfilled. On day three, the sting of a Savior's crucifixion was replaced with a promise perfected. An empty tomb filled empty hearts. On day three, Satan's plan was thwarted as the angel proclaimed, He is risen! Day three rewrote the death sentence Jesus was given on day one. Day three is the reason we can celebrate day one every day of our lives. Today, take some time to give thanks for the death and resurrection of Jesus. He died to give you new life. He gave his life so you can step into your day one with new mercy. I hope you oh, I hope you continue to be challenged and inspired, inspired by these day one devos. And I am. I think that they're very, very, very good. Um, wow, is that not awesome? Because, yeah, I used to think, oh, Good Friday is not very good. But yes, it is. <laughs> because of what Jesus did. Praise God. Praise God. And may the Lord bless you all and be with you. Till tomorrow.